Tom Stewart's Morning News rolls on. It is a Thursday morning, and that means Dr. John Hayes is in studio. He joins us every week at this time. Dr. John Hayes, for a better experience at the doctor's office, try Dr. John Hayes' new highly personalized and affordable direct primary care practice. Find out more at drjohnhayesjr.com, drjohnhayesjr.com. And this is our Living and Practicing by Design segment. And here he is in studio with us this morning, Dr. John Hayes. Good morning. Hey, Rob. Good morning. Great to have you back. And let's see. So lifestyle medicine in primary care can significantly reduce chronic pain. Okay. Well, let's uh, fill us in on this topic. Yeah. So lifestyle medicine is relatively new as a residency trained specialty specialty and I was very very fortunate to obtain residency that combined family medicine and lifestyle medicine so I trained literally for three years in both and the most amazing thing about lifestyle medicine is for the most typical doctor's office visits patients are used to walking in and okay so what's bugging you today what are your medications blah 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 and because the visit is so short oftentimes it ends right there mm-hmm. so it's no slight against the individual doctors, but it's what our system has become. Unfortunately, a lot of things that are related to a patient's lifestyle, you know, how we, how we sleep, uh, how active we are, uh, dietary issues we have, stress concerns, those types of things take a back burner. Mm-hmm. In lifestyle medicine, it's just the opposite. So these oh, are okay. like the first things that we uh, go through with patients in the very, very beginning. And since we started last September up in Marshfield here, one of the most amazing things to me is the progress that I actually see with patients, and patients come in with conditions like high blood pressure, hypertension, and certain types of chronic pain, and we go back and we take a look at where they were six months ago to where they are now. Many patients have lost weight without crazy diets or weight loss medications. Um, many, many patients are off or drastically reduced uh, not only pain medication but blood pressure medication very, very commonly. And this is really just the tip of the iceberg. So. What we're really trying to emphasize now to people is that oftentimes when there is underlying chronic pain, there are many, many, many components to it. And if we address these things or you're, as a patient, given the space to address these with a physician that's competent, the amount of change you can have in your lifestyle is is very, very dramatic and and, uh, very, very rewarding for me as a physician. Hmm. Okay. So uh, what what are the kind of things that uh, people, you would you would tell people to do or, or to recommend? So the first thing that we commonly recommend is in addition to a very thorough uh, physical examination, extensive laboratory tests usually, or taking a look at tests that might have been done that but not thoroughly reviewed. Once we have an underlying baseline, so to speak, we also encourage patients to do oftentimes detailed dietary surveys, uh, different uh, activity surveys, which they can do manually, or sometimes you can use a, a, an app to do it, uh, just to try to get a baseline and get a real database, I should say, of your own life. And then from that particular point in time, we can take a look at certain components and pieces that may or may not be working. Uh, diet, of course, is oftentimes a big one. Uh, mm-hmm. Sometimes yep. food allergies, food intolerances, et cetera, that may not have been known. Uh, those can be big. And then the other thing uh, most commonly is incorporating the right type of physical activity consistently over a regular period of time with deliberate modifications for you as an individual. For example, let's say you have chronic back pain. The types of exercises that you do or they're going to be beneficial for you may be different than somebody who has like a chronic shoulder issue and that type yeah. of thing. So it's not the kind of thing where you just say, well, you know, just go and run. You know, exactly. You know, right. Just trying run. to, yeah, highly personalized things uh, really makes tremendous go tremendous. lift weights at the gym well yeah, yeah we try to be, yeah that's exactly so we try to there, be as specific as, as we possibly there may be can. different things yeah because sure. you may have something as you said uh, something that you wouldn't want it that would make, make the pain worse you know correct if you if you exercise and you know do something so you're gonna you're gonna write exactly. all of this stuff as you talk about uh you got to find you know and that's something that you talk to the people about that's what makes your practice different right exactly yeah we, we spend so much time on this and sometimes we do visits just dedicated to this yeah uh to what kind of exercise you need to do and then of course getting us on the right food path and as we've talked about i know we've touched on this in a lot of different segments about the sleep and and the stress techniques and uh, that whole managing your schedule and screen time that whole balance absolutely uh, it's, it's, it's got to be bad for, i mean we're all guilty i think of that so well it's, it's always know, a challenge it is a challenge rob because you know a lot of it's just the world we live in now and yeah. i think more and more unless we shut off a lot of that stuff 
mm-hmm. it becomes much more difficult for us to be human, quite yeah. frankly. Or, or you just accept it that uh, fatigue is just a normal condition. Right. No, you're not supposed to feel this way. <laughs> exactly. But, you know, no, you know what I mean? Right. Because I it, think sometimes we just accept yes. it and you're yep. just like, well, you know, and that's, you know, sometimes where I was thinking, you know, I, I was feeling so tired and falling asleep and I didn't know it was more maybe sugar related as opposed to just, you know, you, you just go. go, well, you know, you get up at 3.30 in the morning, you know, you're just going to be exhausted. Well, right. maybe it's something else. Great. I mean, that, not that right. getting up at 3.30 yeah. isn't great all the time. <laughs> no, good point. Yeah. Good, good point for sure. So these are but, the things you've got to talk about, but you, you have this and the, and the idea is that you make some time to kind of go through this checklist and then you follow up, uh, imagine, if people have questions. Yeah. So the, the, the nice thing is, you know, as we talked about uh all the time. My practice is 100% independent. I have no corporate oversight, nobody mm-hmm. telling me I only have 15 minutes to see my patient yeah. or that type of thing. So we can dedicate as much time as patients need. And that is very, very significant. You know, sometimes it can only be an extra visit of a couple minutes, but sometimes it needs to be much longer. So really being able to cater uh, to the needs of our patients goes such a long way in uh, not only patient satisfaction, but also helping them feel and do much better. Yeah. And it says, I know in the blog, and this is you've talked about, is that, you know, if you're a patient, someone that's uh, looking to go through these things, you, you don't have to feel alone. And that's, uh, you know, you've got the team, you've got support. Correct. You know, Absolutely. Which is great. Yep. So, all yep. right. Uh, well, if people want to read more, that you can get, uh, by the way, all these topics are, are great. You can see these blogs as they're posted. Or, you know, imagine when we talk about these, you probably go back to the website and read more. It's drjohnhayesjr.com, drjohnhayesjr.com. He posts up uh, the blogs and uh, also does a lot of social media. You see some of his videos as Dr. Hayes is out and about. Not today doing an outside video, but <laughs> on other days. And um, we also want to encourage uh, that people can still, in your practice, it's in Marshfield, right? So tell us more about that, Dr. John Hayes. Yeah, so we're at 475 School Street, Rob, right behind Kindercare and Bank of America. And if people want to call or text, I can give out the numbers. Yeah, please do. 781-659-7989. Again, you can call or text this number, 781-659-7989, and uh, you'll be able to get in touch with Dr. John Hayes, and uh, he will help steer you in the right direction. Absolutely. Happy to. All right. Dr. John Hayes, uh, Jr. is with us every Thursday at this time on WATD with our Living and Practicing by Design segment. Thank you, doctor. Thank you, Rob.